Hi everyone and welcome to the first video of my 2024 coloring book collection. Very exciting. I am going to hopefully week to week do flip throughs of, not full flip throughs. I thought I was doing full flip throughs this morning and then I was like three bucks in and I'm like, no, this isn't right. This isn't how I do these. So we're starting again and hopefully this will work. But I did a coloring book collection in 2022 going into last year and my collections changed a lot since then. I've had a lot of updated books, new books come in. I did a pretty substantial couple purges. I will probably be de-stashing as we go along too if I find books that just aren't my jam. And I am planning to do a giveaway, but we'll talk about that another time whenever it actually comes into existence. But um, I figured I would redo the collection again. While we go through these, we also get a glance at my completed pages. If you aren't familiar with me, I've been coloring for about five and a half years, so I do have not as many pages as you would expect, but I do definitely have pages scattered throughout my books. So rather than doing them twice, we're going to do it together in one efficient set of videos. So the previous playlist will be gone by the time I show this. There's no sense in having both sets of collections going at the same time. Might as well just show you guys the newest and most updated uh, collection. So if you've been around, if you saw that one, some of these may seem familiar to, the, to you. Some of them may seem new. But everybody does seem to really like these videos. So that's why I said, you know, I gave it some time. And then we're just going to, this is probably what I'll do every couple years, just redo the series and that's fine because the benefit to this is I get to take a close look at books that have been sitting on my shelf for a while and it's because I'm trying to be more mindful about buying seeing what you have and actually opening the books and looking at them kind of reminds you of what's in there and so I think um, this will help me be more apt to color in what I have rather than trying to buy new stuff so it it's a winner for all all right so this first collection today is going to be what I call my super fancy books and these are books that are a little difficult or maybe a little cost prohibitive to buy I uh, thanks to book depository and other colorists on YouTube I have been introduced to a lot of non-US coloring book artists and I absolutely love so many of those books uh, particularly like a lot of these are going to be Japanese and Korean books <clears throat> and Book Depository was a better cost option but now that that's went away uh, I'm using mostly Etsy, Amazon Japan, I'm sure eBay would be an option and uh, these are my biggest weakness too because generally being in the US the cost of the book isn't necessarily bad but the shipping is very it's sometimes the price of the book and so these can like beat down a budget real quick if you buy like three or four of them and so I have a weakness for these and so there's not there's about half a bookshelf but it would be double if I just said forget it I'm gonna buy everything I want because all of these are adorable anyway we're going to do like look at a couple pages in each book I'll show you any completed pages I have and then we'll move on to the next book there's no particular order in these um, I do put most of my books in artist alphabetical order but because these are kind of their own category they kind of just sit together <laughs> and and to be honest sometimes it's so hard to find the artist name on these that I can't really put them in artist order I'll be honest with you all right let's get started trying to keep the chatter down at the beginning so Tammy from Tammy Colors 2 was telling me last year about a uh, mobile game she likes called called cats and soup and I happened to, like a month or two later, see this book, which I think was a new release, on Etsy. And I love cats. 
I've played the game a little bit, but I'll, I tend to not be a mobile gamer much. Anyway, I bought her a copy, and I'm like, well, if I'm going to buy her a copy, I'm going to buy me a copy. And <laughs> so we got this, and it is such a cute little book. Now, with these, normally, and I'm, I'm, I can't do it for this one because it would take me two hours to find all the links to these books. I don't know. Just check the description. If I suddenly get a wild hair and decide to update the description with all the links, I will. But this one in particular would be difficult to um, show all the links to because of all the different sites. I'd have to go track them down. If there is a book I show that you have interest in, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to provide you a link. Usually most of the books, it's not hard to find them, particularly if they're on Amazon. And But if you want them on a different site, it can be a little difficult, unfortunately, how it is these days. But these books can be a little difficult to find. And so um, if there's one book here that catches your eye and you're having trouble finding it just because of translation issues, things like that, let me know. I will be happy to provide the ISBN number. Um, and the link to where I purchased it if I can get access to that so that you guys have a starting point. So this one in particular, I fully would expect questions about. And please don't hesitate to ask. I will gladly do, you know, a handful, even a dozen links is better than trying to do about 30, 40 links in this. So, all right. So these are divided in the parts. And... One thing I've noticed a lot in my Japanese and Korean books recently has been having pages that show like what what the artist envisioned or what the characters look like in the game on one side and then get, giving you a page to color on the other side. And I really like that. I think for me these books are very intimidating anyway because they're I paid you know a little more money for these with shipping and everything and they're so beautiful the pa paper is a lot fancier than amazon paper it uh it's a lot smoother it's a lot thicker it can handle watercolors particularly these books types of books i think handle watercolor really well i would be hesitant i definitely because of the double-sided nature of this one i would be hesitant to use alcohol markers in it. I love the pirate. I had to show you guys the pirate. But I don't, a lot of it you just would probably want to test. Now, if you don't care about the sides that have the colored pages, you could really technically use marker if you wanted to. There's no rule. I mean, at least in these with that design, there's a few pages that aren't like that. But at least with this book and this design if you don't mind seeping the marker seeping through to this page you could use marker on this side and i've seen people do it and there's nothing wrong with that like you're not committing some crime or anything if you do that um it is your book your money this is a judgment-free zone and you do what makes you happy with your books. So that is my philosophy on that. I ain't going to tell anybody how to pay their bills or spend their money. And I ain't going to judge anybody, particularly on their coloring, their hobby purchases. Because I have my own issues too. So it's like throwing rocks in a glass house. So at some point I will probably do like a top 10 or top 12 favorite books in my collection and I really need to do that and I might do that like at the end of this or something and I'm going to tell you right now the two books I'm fixing to show you are automatically going to be in there. It is called Cat Coloring Therapy. I'm going to be using my Google Translate a lot. It, this simply translates to Color It. Um, by Grace J. Both of these are going to be by Grace J. Now, if you've been around me for a minute, you know I love, I love cats. I love animals doing people things. And I love cats doing people things. 
And I have a lot of books of animals and cats doing people things. And when I tell you there is something magical about these two books, it is the way the cats have been drawn. It's their facial expressions. It's, they, they're really like, I think their positions and just how they look so realistic. Like, I don't know if I've ever had a cat just fly. No, I have. I feel like I've seen my cat cow, um, miss you buddy. Uh, for many years <laughs> I've seen him lounge in this exact position but um, like the little kid watching the TV it's the little details in this one that just are incredible I don't I don't know I, I really don't know what makes this like my favorite as opposed to other cat coloring books and it's not an easy choice but like these the moment I flipped through them initially, hands, they were just, they've just been my favorites ever since. I did. That was the signal. Like, I felt so, I enjoyed these so much, I actually went ahead and did a picture. <laughs> this was a watercolor base with Arteza pencils. And when I tell you, this was a dream to work on. This paper, the paper quality in a lot of these books is on another level when you get so used to trying to make Amazon paper work and there's nothing wrong with Amazon paper and I and we wouldn't have a lot of the amazing art that we do if Amazon didn't have the, the self-publish option so I'm not knocking that like I'm I'm fully most of my books are Amazon books. So I, but when you get so used to coloring in Amazon books and learning that that paper, you have to, certain things you can't use, certain things you have to, you have to really be careful with that paper. And then when you get a paper page like this, that just, it's so much different. There's no warping. There's no, if I look on the other side, there's no bleed through. There's a little bit of texture from using the pencils on the other side just because I have heavy pressure when I color but like this was so much fun to work on and you're like so why aren't there more pictures Michelle I don't know I tell you I buy for this Michelle that has so much free time and energy to color but that is not reality Michelle but it's not amazing they just every and, and you know, most of us with books were like, I like most of the pictures in here, but I don't like all the pictures. Every single picture in this book is a winner. I wanted to show you guys this one because I think this might be the one I color for spring. The way they're just bouncing down that path and, you know, with the frogs and it feels very springy, very April showers. It's got the little mouse with the little leaf umbrella. It's adorable. Whoops, now I'm shaking the camera. Anyway, amazing book. I, Grace J, I don't know exactly who that is, but I wish she'd put out like so many more of these. And of course there is a cat coloring therapy too. So the, the story I vaguely remember on this one is he is their uncle or something like that. And so he takes all his nieces and nephews and like does all kinds of fun things with them. I think that's kind of the story on this one. Uncle Hochi and his seven cats, Happy Days. This book, as much as I love that other book, I gotta say if I had to pick a favorite, this would be it. like an absolute favorite in my collection. They're just, the looks on his face, the looks on their face, the way they're all lounging all over him. It's just, I think I love them so much because they're all like just a little bit chunky, right? Like they're stout cats. I think that's why I love, I, it's my favorite, well, all cats are my favorite kinds of cats, but that, that slightly, ch you know, stout style is generally how I like, my cats tend to be, and so maybe that's why I'm so drawn to it. It's that particular drawing of the cats. And no, I've not done a picture in this one yet. 
I'd show you that one though because when I tell you these two where he's chasing them and they're all bottle brush tails and I just I love it and then they're all watching a scary movie and all the different expressions I just I just can't y'all I can't with this book And I am. I'm terrified I'm going to mess a page in one of those up. And then what do I do? And that's another big thing, too, is just the risk of borking a page in these books. Because with an Amazon book, if I have an issue with a couple pages, it's pretty easy to be able to get another copy if I really think I need it. But like these... It's a substantial investment to get another copy, if they're even still in print. So this is Kanoko Agusa. I have three of their books. These have been, I don't know about this one, but I know the other two have been published with more, like, uh, have been republished and are available on Amazon under a slightly different um, set of names. Now, I might put those in the description because those are a little confusing. But I have the original ones that I had to um, scour the internet for. This is Symphony of Cute Animals. And it is a smaller book. A lot of these books are uniquely sized compared to like standard Amazon books. They're, they're either wider or they're shorter like this one. Um, they're not typically the... They're typically wider than they are taller with a few exceptions. They're typically not that Amazon format. Wow, this one's gotten a little damage to the cover. That stinks. I actually also have the Coloring Heaven version of the Kanoko Igusa, like I think from the pages from this book. So these books also have in the back like smaller versions of the pages that you could use um, as like postcards or if you just want a smaller version of the picture to color which I think is kind of cool these are beautiful once again you get some more animals doing people things that's going to be a theme you see a lot in these books today. Plenty of cats. Of course, cats are my first go-to, but they're not almost always my first go-to, but not necessarily. And you'll actually see that in some books where... I did this page in the Coloring Heaven issue. That one was a larger version though and it had a cat sleeping. This is Menue de Bonheur. Again, this has been republished under an English title. There's like Garden of Fairy Tale Animals and then there's something else. I will link to those in the description. And uh, But this was the original one. I don't know what the paper's like in the new ones. Now, I'm pretty sure Kanoko Goose is also working on a new book that's going to be out this year, if I remember my rumors. Now this one's a little bigger than Symphony of Cute Animals. That's so cute. I think... So these pictures feel a little more complex, a little more detailed than like the Grace J pictures. So I think that's why I'm more drawn to them. I love these pictures, they're so gorgeous. Um, I still, you know, want these and will color in them, but I think, oh, and these black backgrounds just, oh, stunning. That's so cute with the other ones all curled up sleeping down here.
That would be a fun one to do this spring, too. I wonder if I should start marking some of these. Do I still have my little flags over here? I'm really trying to diversify into some of these books. I talked before about there being this fear that I'm going to stop coloring or something's going to happen to me. And my husband left with, you know, having to do something with my collection. I would recommend, you know, <laughs> I've got a friend that uh, I'm going to have to be like, hey, if anything ever happens to me, sorry, Bagheera's howling. Um he just howls it's I promise he is perfectly fine but uh I'm gonna have to ask her if anything ever happens to me can she help my husband navigate my books because a number of these could be have some resale value and I think that's where I get fearful because I'm like well if I color in it then that makes it less valuable and like he may not be able to sell it or resell it if it's used but I've got to get out of that mindset I mean it's just so this is Rhapsody in the Forest also by Kanoko Agusa again there's been another book this has been republished as an English version I probably should have looked at what that was bookmarking I know I've not colored in any of these but that needs to change Oh my gosh, this one with the corgis would be stunning. This would be a really good winter picture. But man, the amount of time. Because all these little circles are interesting. It's almost like this is where all the light should be. Which I love that it's kind of highlighted there. But that would take such a long time putting in all those little details. I don't know. Might be a good winter project. I do love me some owls too. Especially angry looking owls. Like I haven't looked in these books in forever. And I'm like these are so cute. But anyway. Yeah I've got to get over that mindset. I just... I bought these books so I could enjoy them and I need to enjoy them and I'm sure I'm sure uh, whoever these wind up with after um, if something happens to me that they will enjoy them as much as I do and you know maybe it's an opportunity for somebody who wouldn't otherwise be able to own a book be able to own one so we'll see all right her books are at the end of the stack, so I do kind of want to keep hers together, so we're going to wait on that one. I don't know why these are so out of order, because these should be together. <clears throat> Sorry. Now I've... Now I'm trying to mess with the stack. Okay. So we have two... This is hardback. It almost feels like a hardback book, but... Um, we have two books here by, I can't remember the artist's name. This is the Four Seasons coloring book. There's an artist somewhere in here, surely. It says it's copyrighted by Green Ivy, so I guess Green Ivy is the artist's name. We're going to hope that this is the Four Seasons one. And what drew me to this is, what drew me to these books is the cats. These are some of the, there's two books that I know of that I have. I might have more by the same artist, but these are only two I know of from the start. Um, this is one of the books that has like the finished picture on one side and then the colored or picture to color on the other. What's also cool about these is different shading is added in, different um, color line art is used to make it a little uh, 
like if you're wanting to use watercolor or something having more of a light brown line art rather than like a dark black kind of makes it a little more um what's the word i can't think of what i'm trying to think of right now makes it blend together better i guess these are normally i'm very bold and vibrant with my color colors these are a little more muted which i feel like is a very good um challenge for me what's what i love about these is the cat and that should surprise no one because he is in i think just about every picture with her doing fun things like here he is looking out with a telescope his little fish balloon there he is messing around underneath the blanket they're just beautiful pictures the paper feels very nice like these i think are set up for watercolor because of the way the finished pictures look i feel like these this paper is designed with watercolor in mind so and the cat's like under her backpack or something you can just see his tail there gigantic book by the way like some of these books it amazes me like even though it may be cost prohibitive like in terms of the price of the book and the shipping the amount of images you get is so unique and there's so many compared to like a lot of your average coloring books that it, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel exorbitant like i just really went out of my way for a teensy little coloring book like these are these have some meat on them you know so there's the four seasons one and then i believe same one same artist nostalgia now this is a hardcover book this might be yep green ivy this might be the fanciest book i've got when you count the hardcover and then the the luscious paper so again look at the size it is a chunky it is a chunky monkey like similar setup here there are some postcards in the back that actually show you like a finished version you could cut out and use and then one that you know you could make yourself which i think are cool Sorry, right, now I'm showing them sideways, but you get the idea. It's easier for me to flip back to front if you're wondering why I'm doing it this way. And there's text on all the books. I obviously have to use Google Translate, but like this one, send it away 2019 watercolor pencil. Time flies new qu so quickly, it's another new day. An impatient mind is busy bringing in new wishes according to the newly given time this is translated through google translate without even having time to organize the things that have been left behind but if you let go of the things that need to go properly there will be room to give them to new things old emotions unsolved homework i think the first thing to do is let go time is like a gift given to all of us again i hope that you're clean heart empty heart will be filled with only happiness and love so like this is talking about of course letting go of old things making to make room for the new things uh, essentially is what i got from that which i think's beautiful and and very true and i love that it's represented in a picture too so they all have stuff like that on them which I've never, I haven't troubled myself to really trouble myself, like picking up my phone and setting it on there to see what they say, but like, it's some really cool stuff. So I guess, my guess is this artist used this to reminisce, since it's nostalgia, about their life. I'm assuming the black cats and, and just about all of this too. And some of these are very simple like i feel like you could do a little watercolor maybe a little shading with pencil these aren't super detailed overwhelming pictures so they're beautiful though 
like this paper gosh this is probably the best paper i have in a coloring book when i tell you all this is like heavy duty cardstock on each of these pages and it's it has the little lines but they're not perforated i mean you'd still have to cut them out if you wanted to but ridiculous like again I think these two were some of the last books I managed to get off Book Depository before it closed, and I was so grateful. Oh, yeah, that's right. I do have a <laughs> forever whip from this artist that I need to grab, too. Okay. So we have, next up, need to go through these faster. We have... The story of the maiden and the cat. It says modern girls and cute cats. And this is by Nalko Neko. I think Poet Spice and I were going to do a picture in here uh, at one point, And it just didn't happen. But that's okay. Maybe we'll get to it one day. And I am not big on like portraits and people. Unless I'm coloring them like in a fantasy way. With I don't typically like just using regular skin tones. Regular hair color. If I'm going to color a person, usually I color them with like green skin tones or something. But the addition of the cats in this one, I just couldn't resist. This isn't my typical book, however. I do like the different scenes. I like the cats. There is this one double page spread in particular. Now see, this is the one where I like some of the pictures, maybe not all of them are my absolute favorite, but I can see myself coloring them. And it's really nice paper. I, I'm very intrigued because this art is so different and the style is so different from what I normally color in, how one of these pages would color up. Now that I'm looking at it. This is one of my absolute favorite pictures. These cats are just having the wildest forest party you could possibly imagine. Like here he is dancing with his little kerchief around his head. This one's about to throw a fish on, <laughs> on the barbecue. Like I love this picture. I need to flag it again. See, this is what happens. I go through them and I flag them and then they just sit there forever till the next time I go through them and I'm like, what's this flag for? Oh yeah. So, I just love this picture. Nelko Neko might sound familiar to you because of this book, Precious Cat. This says the story of a shy cat, but I think we, we call it normally Precious Cat. Four Seasons. Oh, Story of Precious Cats. There you go. This book, again, is adorable. And this is definitely all cats. I almost wish these books were smaller. Like, I wish these were almost more square, but it would be hard to fit in everything. They're not super complicated pictures, but I almost wish they were smaller because I think the size of the pictures makes these feel intimidating. And I'll show you why with my whip in a minute. These cats are also cute, but I don't, I, I love this art, but may, like if I had to pick between this and Grace J, I'd be picking Grace J. It's something about the eyes, maybe because they're not filled in. I think that's the problem. But then again, as I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is adorable. All right, so here's my forever whip. We sat down and did watercolor like two years ago. And then y'all picked Faber-Castell Polychromos to go over the top. And I just haven't done it. I keep wanting to go back to it and it's just not happening. So one of these days, maybe that'll be a good summer project. But the watercolor, I can't remember which one I used, but it definitely didn't bleed through. It's like a regular watercolor tin watercolor. That was also what I used in Grace J. So... 
All right, we have the cats. This one's interesting. I feel like this is like a collaboration or something. Like there's two different artists maybe on this one. Or maybe that's a different book. So I don't love all the pictures in this one, but there are some pictures I really love. Um, like this one is incredible. So the first half of this book is like cats, I guess, their perspective of how they think they exist in the world. Like, I love this cat and his little pirate get up. It's like, it's like fantasy cats in the first half of this one. And then the other half is cats being normal cats. So like this one, I also love the little blurbs they do over here. Um, like an extra piece from the scene. It's just fantastic. Like the cats playing volleyball. Love that. The video game cat. Skateboards. Cats in the theater in the little boxes. Like these are just clever. Very clever. Cat, cat being the masseuse. Very, very different whimsical pictures. I like that a lot. And then the second half of this. So it's almost like he's in uh, where he goes in one, um, one portal. And like it's a fantasy world of cats. Then he comes out the other side. And then it's just cats being cats. It's like this one's trying to get the fish off the table. Here he is up on the counter where he probably shouldn't be. It's like cats and different pieces of art and like just chilling with their owners. I love him there with all the books on him. These are beautiful as well. So these are just cats being cats. And like I love both of those. I love the two different perspectives. Now if I use my translate app, I can probably figure out, you know, the exact interpretation of this book. I think that's so sweet where he's so concerned. That's my Winry. I call her my nurse cat. She can't stand me being upset. But it's a fun little book. It's it's something different. I went on, oh, what is the name of that artist? I think these all go together. I need to do a better job of keeping these in order. There is a publisher that I buy from that has their, they, they go on Etsy, but they also have their own website, and I can't think of their name offhand. However, one really bad night at work, I got on their site and found a ton of books, and with the shipping, ordered them, and that was part of that group. I found a lot of books on there that weren't on Etsy. And that was my first mistake. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. We learned our lesson. So I do have some of the books in this series. Um, is this one part of it? I think it is. This is, like I said, I, I struggle a bit with names and titles. I think all these books go together. And I think there's a rabbit book I'm missing in this series that I really want, but I just haven't gotten yet. I think it's a rabbit one. Okay, so this one is the cat, it says Cat General Store and Magic Key. That Moco translates to Booger, which is interesting. Um, I don't think that is what I'm going for here. Okay, I don't know having trouble with finding the artist name but this is a series of books I actually don't have that one um, you'll see Yuri in a minute if they have others on the back no so these are like short books but they're really long let me get that one out of the way 
And of course, y'all know I had to get the Cat General Store one for obvious reasons. Again, uh, they do show some tutorials, some different ways to do things. I think if I'm going to color these books, I will take the time to translate these and look into what they're suggesting. Because again, maybe these are more of a softer approach instead of my super bright color approach. I don't know. We'll see. And then there's, a, there's some text, but again, I'm just making guesses as to what the pictures are. I will obviously get more details I'm going through. These are not black line art. This is almost like a blackberry, like a really dark reddish purple line art, which is interesting. Very cute pictures though. Talks about the characters and friends. Some of these are, in, some of the pieces are in English, which I find interesting. If you're gonna do, like, you're doing one part in English and one part in other languages, I uh, find that a little odd, but. Okay. I'm gonna, this is a real bad habit. I'm so used to, and a lot of these books at the end have these kind of random pages where you could color them, cut them out, and use them as cards and stuff. Sometimes the backs don't match the fronts very well. Like, these would probably be ones like, like, I might color that when I cut it out and figure out some way to frame it or put it somewhere. Like, maybe that would be a good bookmark or something. And, like, this gives you directions Oh, I guess you can create a little mini book out of this one. Anyway, you get a lot of those kind of random pieces at the end. I don't particularly pay much attention to those because I just prefer the coloring pages, but I will show them. Very cute. All right. So there is the ca the magic keys not the magic cat the magic keys this is i believe secret a journey through fairy tales with little forest friends i don't know if this one's it looks like it should be in the same series but i don't know technically if it is it is it is okay and that's the one i want to get it's like the little rabbit's fairy tale book that's the one i don't have yet this one, um, similar layout, similar format. This one is also gorgeous. They show like the different pages in the back and I'm sure they all have titles. You get bonus pictures. Gosh, these are almost hard to show on camera because they're so long. I love any picture where they're doing laundry, where they're hanging laundry on a clothesline. I don't know what it is. But I think it's like the cutest thing. I love, I love every laundry picture I see. It's so interesting to me how you get, you start coloring and you, you're drawn to one type of coloring or one, you know, kind, but how things change and how tastes change and how you find things you're weirdly drawn to, like you know, like me and laundry and clotheslines or animals doing people things like and then finding out there are things you don't necessarily like like I am not the biggest fan of mermaids or okay in <laughs> in real life in real life because you know mermaids are fantasy and all um when it comes to like mermaids as a whole in the fantasy world I don't care you know mermaids are fine I just don't like coloring them um, I said I don't like cut. This is Yuri. Uh, Field Mouse Yuri's Travel Sketch. I'm not a big fan of coloring mermaids. So I think the only one I'm really missing other than the rabbit one is this one. And I just... I'm not really... I've seen some flip-throughs of that one. I'm not really enthused by it. I also don't like uh, coloring buildings. 
I've noticed that. And that's part of that book is I think it's a lot like if they're showing like downtown or they're showing a bunch of shops, a bunch of houses with landscaping. I'm not the biggest fan. I, I don't know what it is. Just buildings and interior in it interiors are okay like if there are other animals and stuff there but like they're just not appealing to me like I really struggle with buildings and in any type of architecture like that that doesn't have like animals or other things in there and I think it's because I like coloring things so bright and vibrant and you know a lot of times buildings they can be bright but most of the time they're in somewhat neutral colors like brick color or like a stucco or something and because I struggle with n neutral coloring I think that's part of the problem I don't know who that is so we're just gonna decline that these are really cute all of these though the pictures are adorable I wonder if I could set a mini goal to have one page in each of these color by the end of the year before like said it be like I can't get the rabbit book till I've colored a picture in each of these I think it's a good goal to have all right so this book is one of the sweetest books I've seen like the pictures in this are just adorable they're in all of them but this is like a baby animals type book I'm struggling with the translation here oh my gosh what does that say Kim Eugen Eugen uh, I don't do well with names so it does have the name of the illustrator but this is so cute they're all cute Michelle but they're all like the parents so there's you know I'm not a big like I guess human baby fan but oh lord baby animals sign me up sign me up isn't that just so sweet love these pictures that is a really good spring picture really good spring picture i am in a spring mood y'all like it is warmer than it should be right now but i am already in a spring mindset but anyway just beautiful pictures again just smooth thicker paper in these books you really do get like some good uh, paper quality in these books I'll say that like <laughs> they are a bit of an investment but they are um, if you really like using pencils and really like using watercolors in books I think these are some good books to have in your collection this is the secret invitation book and <laughs> oh goodness yeah I'm having trouble again with the artist here I guess there are other books in this series that one looks interesting I don't know I'll have to dig into that this again it's just animals animals doing people things the line art in this one's a little thicker so that is something um and it's something i recommend watching people do flip throughs of these books before you purchase them is that the line art can vary so much like here you get that thicker line art it's even thicker than the um cat coloring therapy so like if you really I, I love having the art as is and then coloring within and having those lines be prominent like I I'm visually I enjoy that a lot oh, it's so cute 
visually, I really enjoy that. Some people much prefer that their art be, line art be more blended. Um, people will, you know, go over with a white gel pen or a white paint pen the lines and then use pencil shading and stuff to create a more natural line on their art. And um, so the thicker line art might not be as appealing to some people, but me, I prefer it just because I love, I love that so good solid thick line. But some people might do better, might prefer um, line art. Like here, you've got more of a thin pencil line on some of these. Now, some people might struggle with that, if, especially if you're using watercolor as a base. Maybe you don't like the thinner lines, but some people really prefer those lines. So this is a bad example, but I think you guys get what I mean. But what I would recommend is that these books vary so much, I would, okay, here we go. This is thinner line art right here in the next book I'm going to show you. So some people may not like this as much, but if you're somebody that likes making the the line art more subtle this might be more appealing to you um i don't mind it but it's not my favorite like my favorite's this the chonky line art but everybody's different so with the variants in these books really any coloring books i would highly recommend seeing a flip through or some sample images before you purchase it because if you really have an issue with like thick line art or thin line art you're gonna be disappointed when you get the book this one it's just precious I I'm sure y'all are sensing a theme with all my um, super fancy books right like I mean we've established this by now like I really like this type of art it's irresistible irresistible to me and I need to speed this up but that's okay you know it is the weekend we are being chill it's all chill and relaxed. <laughs> this this is why I tell y'all we we have to um, go through our books because there is I I did that before we get to the next book. There is another book in those in that series that I just showed you the um, the Yuri and all of those. There's a new recently published book that I got. That's the squirrel book. I just call them by their animals. Like it's the cat book with ma with the magic keys. It's the forest animals one. It's the Yuri one, the mouse one. This is the squirrel one. That's this is the newest release, I believe. So I have all of them but the rabbit one. That's so funny. How I have all of them but the rabbit one and this one showing like the little town. And I'll have to see some flip throughs of that one. Yeah, it's the only ones I'm missing. But this one's the newest release, I think. It's little squirrels. And again, just look at these birds in dresses. Just how... I, get, I struggle a lot, you know, with the world just being in flames and being a dumpster fire. These are incredibly detailed in some of these. I struggle a lot with the world just being a dumpster fire and being so stressed because work's just been so busy and just feeling down. But man, I need to just start grabbing these books and looking through them because the fact that there are artists that exist that make these little fantasy worlds full of so much joy and cuteness, like, this, these are definitely mood boosters. Anyway, that's the squirrel one. This one's also the reddish line art. I'm sorry, I'm so scattered today. It's terrible. Yuri was not the reddish line art. It's just regular line art. And then the forest family and friends, the one with the other rabbits on it. There's two rabbit books, but this is a fairy tale one. So you can see from the cover. Um, so these aren't the darker red. This one and the cat's general store one are. So, okay. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. I was just looking at the stack. I do need to put these in some sort of order. So there is a Colors Make You Happy series. There are a ton of these out there. And I think I only have one or two. I think it's just the one. But I see the others and boy, I am tempted. So this, it's Mickey Takei. And this is, it's like there's, I see Colors Make Happy, Sweet Dreams. They're all different types of covers and stuff. But this is the one I have. This is very easy, very easily one where you could fall down a rabbit hole of collecting all the books. So I try to avoid, well, I still watch flip throughs, but this is the one that I saw a flip through of and I'm like, this is the one. This is the one I want that has the most images I like in it. It still has, oh, I also don't like coloring food, but this has some food images in it. It's, it's all right. I don't mind that. This one with the bees is pretty cool. I don't mind that. But like, there's just some really incredible, the ones with the animals in particular, I'm really drawn to. So definitely with these, like I said, I would recommend trying to find flip throughs, which again with translations can be a bit difficult. Sometimes I'll look by ISBN number, I'll look at Google Translate, I'll look at the site I'm planning to buy it off of, like maybe I see it on Etsy or something and I take the title from that. Sometimes they'll have the author there, author, the artist. So like you could do it that way. I feel like I had another Colors Make You Happy book. It may be hidden somewhere in here. It is very possible. So I'll, at the end, I'll pause it and go look. There's this one. This was also that big off, uh, Etsy shop site. This is Days with Cats and Flowers by Aikawa Sora. This is small happiness found in everyday life. It has a similar feel to the colors make you happy. Maybe that's why I'm getting confused. But if it has cats on it, I am, oh my gosh, I have spent so much time on this. There are other books by this artist I'm intrigued for. But I know what I'm doing. I'm going to have to work for a few hours after this. And I think subconsciously, aren't these beautiful? <laughs> Where they are just laid on their back, sprawled out. I don't know what it is. I wish I could be that comfortable. This one with the clouds. This really makes me think about all the cats I've had that have passed away. This would be a beautiful picture to do if I could count the cats and then, yeah. That's definitely on my list. These are beautiful. Just beautiful. I love cats and flowers too. Eva Carrere um, is another artist. She's uh, not in this group, but she does a cats and flowers series that are Amazon books that are beautiful. Like I love how she draws cats. This is Peaceful Flower Garden, Dreaming Catwalk. This is um, a compilation of some different artists and you'll see it because like the art is definitely, there's, there's different types of art in here, which I, I think is interesting. So like you'll get a cat on one side or like a double page spread like this. And then you might get more of a Zentangle picture on the other side. The Zentangle pictures are okay, like this one right here. They're okay, but y'all know me. I much prefer these with the cats and the animals. But I like them enough and I, I think I'm, go I'm okay with the possibility of coloring them enough. Or they're so limited in this book that you know, this was still worth it to me for a purchase. Boy, that, that's a lot. <laughs> the cats in here are really nice. And like I said, it's, 
it's a mix. More cacti and succulents. Really thin line art in this one. Except in a few little spots. So, Boy, you can tell how little I have went through these because you can hear the spine crack in some of them. This is Fantasy Season by Yukako Ode. Animal Fantasy Season. I was really drawn to the thick line art in this one. A little more whimsical, I guess, in this one. Maybe not as much realism, like, you know, realism to a point of cats acting like people. Y'all know what I mean. More of like a realistic. And this has got a little more of a whimsical vibe to it. I don't know quite how to explain it. But I like it. This one doesn't feel quite as serious. I'm trying to speed up, guys. I promise. Um, this one... Four, four Seasons. They like to use the Four Seasons a lot. Cat Four Seasons. A day where six cats can do anything. Not sure of the artist in this one. Again, thinking of my cats that have passed away. That would be an incredible picture to do. I love these little trio pictures in this book. I love all the art in this book, but like the ones like this one where he's sleeping. Oh. There's a few pictures where like here I'm like, oh my gosh, you could have filled this with something, you know, like it feels a little empty. But I love this perspective on the beach where they're looking above. Now this is an exception on the mermaids. I, I do love that. The little hula cats. It's very cute. Not incredibly detailed pictures all the way across the book. So one I don't see very often. These are another like series that I feel like are kind of dangerous because they're all incredibly good. We have this one, which is the Cat's Fall Picnic color book, coloring book. Um, it just says Mind Bookstore. Yeah. Written by Joan, Joan Jen. I'm probably mispronouncing that. So this is the Cat's Fall Picnic's one. This is another one where you have the finished picture on the left and then a page to complete on the right. And they are all just so cute. I feel like this is going to be another one where there's a lot of different books that ha look similar or kind of in a series. And this is one that's going to be very, very dangerous for me because I'm going to want them all. Because while cats are my first go-to, I love all animals. Like with this one. I think this might be a spring one. Spring sunshine coloring book. So maybe they're doing them seasonal. Same um, artist. Oh, that would have been so good for Foxy February. Oh, well. We can color foxes anytime during the year. But yeah, I can't, can't, I'm going to keep an eye out for these. Maybe they're just doing a seasonal group. Um, do, 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 do. I believe this is... Oh boy, I do not know how to pronounce this. Apol? 
I see a lot of their art and coloring books. And since their stuff usually is a lot of people, I don't usually get it. However, this one where it says moments holy for yourself, this, uh, and it says coloring book of the forest. This one really drew me in. Also, his line art tends to be sketchier. And so up until I started looking at that nostalgia book and some of those others, I didn't really think it was my thing. But like, again, this is a finished picture on the left, the picture on the right. This was just the one in particular that really stood out to me of their art, so. Love that with the giant squirrel. Again, very chonky book. Alright. I think I got one more of these. This is one also I don't see very often. And I just happen to find it. I think Coloring Queen does a new release uh, blog post every month when I tell you my rabbit hole of going down to find either these books or similar books based on that blog post <laughs> has been just the correlation is there um, so this is um, somebody was talking about this this is representing one of the dynasties um, and it's being done with cats instead and I can't remember the name of the dynasty does this say Hoseon dynasty oh my goodness I am so sorry if I am uh, borking up names here y'all hopefully I'm not offending anyone I figured this one was a good one to start with because then this stuff will be a little more straightforward as we're going along the finished versions are in the back and they just look incredible. But I just thought these looked so cool. I might this one I might be a bit more tempted to go like try to do similar things to the finished pictures um, like similar colors like maybe go with more neutral colors I don't know we'll see all right so um, there's the substantial like Japanese Korean <laughs> Chinese type books um, I have a few others so I do have a couple by Crystal Vogel um, I believe these are German books and I have this one which is Adventures of the Bloom Elves and then this one is the Herd Forest Y'all, at one point, this one translated, like, maybe I misread it. I thought it said Blood Elves, which I thought was totally metal. It was pretty funny, but I think they finally fixed it. Adventures of the Bloom Elves. There are a couple new ones. I know there's an ocean-based one, and then there's, like, a Christmas-based one. I'm still not sure how I feel about these yet. Like, I love the pictures, don't get me wrong. But they are very detailed pictures. There is a possibility I might rehome these. These also portray like the elves like 
as more kid-like, I guess. And like kids and babies, I'm just not too big on. I did get these together. I think I got them. I was trying to get what I could out of Book Depository before it went away. And so, whereas I might have taken a little more time to purchase these, I went ahead and did so. Um, because that was going away. And here is the Bloom Elves. So yeah, you know, I think I'm going to put these in a question mark pile. I know it's crazy. I said I wasn't going to get rid of any books in this pile. But honestly, I'm just... They're beautiful. I'm just not a fan of how the elves are drawn in these. It's just not really my style. So there you go. But... So you guys can see what they look like. I'm showing them to you now. Alright. So yeah, we're going to put these somewhere. Look at that. I'm accomplishing something. Alright. We have this one. We're almost done, guys. We've got like four or five books left. Shot Cat Fantasy Journey. Yeah, having trouble getting an artist here, but that's okay. This little short square book. Very simple pictures with the cats, but I do like the art. These would be good, like, quick colors. Here's another one that has that landscape, you know, double-sided, long ways kind of thing. Oh my gosh, I love those owls. The whole spaceship. <laughs> oh my gosh. At first I was, now hang on. Let me look here. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. I was actually kind of thinking about, like, do I really want this? But the more I flip through it, more I'm digging it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hold on to that. And then I have books by Diane Dufour. Are these all Diane Dufour? I don't think so. This one's not. The art therapy books. Uh, now you can. I will put the site Lyrica uh, in the description. You can. It's a French site, but you can get it to translate to English through like for using Google. Um, I have purchased a number of books on there. It is kind of like Book Depository where I find a lot, it's where people find a lot of the Disney color by number books and then like these art therapy type books like this. Um, they are a really reasonable price and it's free shipping. So um, if you're having trouble finding this stuff on Amazon, I would highly recommend looking at that and it may even save you a little bit of money because of the, sh the shipping cost or lack thereof. So this is Animals in the Forest. It is a small square book. But it's very cute. Nonetheless, there's some random pages in the back again. I like that. Just looking out the window and seeing a tiger. Just being like, oh, okay. Well, it's a tiger. And then there he is. That's like happy kitty surrounded by flowers and mad kitty stalking, looking out the window. Very 
very cute. All right, and then I think all the last ones are Diane Dufour. My favorite art therapy artist, hands down. Um, I think these are the only four I have of hers right now, but this one, I like the one time I tried it, it translated to hairballs, which I think is great, but most people call it fur balls. This might be my favorite, again, in that top 12, uh, this one's in there. Because it's just every picture, guys. There's the random. See, this is what I'm talking about. So they have like random little tags here in the back, but it's like a full page. I don't know what that's about. Like, that's just weird. They do random pictures like that at the end. Okay, so the book itself, every single page is a winner. Like, when I tell you, I will color every page in this book. And it's not just cats, it's dogs, it's sheep, it's raccoons and lemurs and foxes, fox, foxes, it's all of them, all of them are just, every one of them's a hit. This style of art is just her way of drawing is such a winner. Honestly, I think all of her books might be in my top 12. So I did do a page in here finally. I did this one last month with um, watercolor pencils, the Museum Aquarelle, and then the Artix colored pencils. And it turned out so cute. So cute. Like, I just love this book so much other one that m is a very I don't know this and fur balls hair balls might they're just this is teddy bear therapy by Diane Dufour and I'm telling you it's not just teddy bears in this let me get to it. okay it's a lot of teddy bears but it's also other animals too in here I think the second half of this books I could have sworn there were a lot more animals in this book so I love the teddy bears but I gotta say I think fur balls wins it's close these both would go in that top 12 category but I think the one with the more variety of animals would win out for me look at that dragon oh my gosh it's her style y'all is just I love everything she she puts out. Okay, I was thinking of like the little dogs and stuff here at the beginning. But I love the shells and the kitty. I just Yeah, the other one edges this one out, but barely. Barely, barely, barely. Some bigger square books. Um this is nature. I believe this is, yeah, Diane Dufour. These are single sided. So this is a marker friendly book. Alcohol marker friendly book. They're all kind of water based markers as long as they don't bleed. These have, they're missing like not all missing or missing they're they're not as cutesy as her other books but this is actual nature so like you get some of the the adorableness or like with the tigers and the facial expressions but for the most part like I guess this is supposed to be a little more realistic so I still love it okay I see realistic and it's like those fish are having a gab session, but hopefully y'all know what I mean. And finally, in the stack, we have the One Mermaid book. That's the exception. Um, seriously, I think all of Diane Dufour's books, maybe not Nature. I don't know. Nature's good too. If I had to pick 12 books and nothing else in my life, I think all of Diane Dufour's books would be in there with the cat coloring therapy. And there will be other books in this stack, but like, 
those for sure. So Diane Dufour, the one mermaid exception book. And that is just, it's her style, y'all. She could, if she puts out a book about unicorns, if she can make buildings cute, I think she'd take care of everything. Oh, that would have been such a good picture last month. But I did do a picture in her books, so I'm not going to beat myself up too much. Isn't that gorgeous? Those lines, I just... But these are beautiful. Every one of them. Again. Just. One of my favorite artists for sure. So happy. I finally colored in one of her books. And again. This is a bigger. Bigger square. So you have like the little petite. And then you've got the grands. And so. I think that's the only books that she has that I can find. If anybody knows of any others, let me know. But, um, like I said, I think just pretty much all five of her books would go on there. And I don't know. Oh, wait, that one's not in it. But I don't know. This one, I'm kind of wondering about. Just because I like some of the pictures, but maybe not all the pictures. This is one I'm going to have to go back through. No, no. I think I'll keep this one. Yep. I do stash too. Or at least I think I'm going to. Of course, the jury's still out. So I'm not going to say for sure. Um, but we'll see. Those I might actually um, resell. Given given that it is a little difficult to get those around here that would give people another option um yeah so that is <laughs> a long video um i should have went a lot faster than i did but that's okay um those are my super fancy non-disney coloring books that um come from like i said etsy ebay amazon japan amazon book depository lyrica um, these are the ones I go looking for. I have to go looking for most of the time because they're not available uh, on Amazon US. So getting links is a little tricky. However, if there is a book you saw in particular um, that you have interest in, please tell me um, as best you can what the title was and what it was. I will give you the ISBN number and any links I can find on it. I'm happy to do that, but just leave a comment. It's going to take me all day to find all the links. And I just, I don't know if that many people really need all that info. So there you go. I would like to put out a color and chat video as far as what's coming up next. I was supposed to put one out earlier this week it didn't happen i'm probably going to do a middle of the week kind of color and demo there's going to be some watercolors involved we know that um some sort of water soluble medium involved or paint and possibly paint um well i mean watercolor is paint michelle jeez anyway we'll do a color demo catch up middle of the week next week we'll do another um coloring book collection next weekend and I might be able to squeeze a third video in next weekend but we're going to see um, how the week goes because it is going to be a pretty hefty week for me at least the first three days of the week and seeing as how those are my days where I expel like 80% of my energy for the week a lot of it hinges on how my week goes <laughs> like this week I got busier at the end which is why y'all didn't get more videos um, but like next week, I'm really heavy the first three days, four days, three, four days. Hey, it's almost the whole week. I'm pretty much heavy the entire week. So we'll have to see. Um, but things are going okay. I'm tired, but hanging in there. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good right now. I'm scared to say it. I'm really scared to put put those to words and put those out there in the universe this is a solid wood desk I am gonna be superstitious <laughs> um, things are going pretty well right now other than I just need more energy more sleep more free time 
I just need all those. That's just, I think, going to be my forever. <laughs> it feels like it's going to be my forever um, mode, but hopefully not. This is a lot. I've heard the phrase, you know, things can seem overwhelming, but this is just a season in your overall life. This is just one season and you will get through it. And I don't know, something about the phrase one season just really sticks with me where it's just, yeah, it sucks, but it's just one period of my life right now. And that things, you know, that's not going, I, I will not allow this to be this way forever. It will get better, but this is just one one thing I got to go through it to get to it you know and so that helps um I don't know my mentality I feel like has shifted a lot the last few months and I don't know maybe it's these constant therapy appointments are finally starting to work or my brain's just finally like look we can't handle how you normally cope with things anymore we gotta try something different I don't know maybe it's that too so anyway I'll quit yapping Hopefully you enjoyed this and um, yeah, hopefully I will check in with y'all maybe middle of next week, Wednesday, Thursday sometime. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you have a good weekend. Bye for now.